Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Thursday. We've got seven matchups on this MLB slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, turn on those notification bells. And uh, yeah, we'll hop in it here. A lighter slate today, starting with the Oakland Athletics versus the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore opening up as home favorites at minus 225. Oakland plus 185 with the over under at 10. Oakland coming into this matchup 3 and 9. Baltimore 6 and 6. Pitching for Oakland is Adam Aller with an ERA of 4.66. Pitching for the Orioles is Cole Irvin with an ERA of 9.35. Aller, his last start, he pitched one inning, gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. Irvin, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up three runs, and had five strikeouts. Oakland coming off a Baltimore win, uh, beating him yesterday. I mean, it's their first win in a while. So, I mean, I'm sure they were definitely due for a win. But, um, yeah, Oakland 2-11 and 11 on the road, 2-5 and five on the road against Baltimore here. Um yeah, Aller didn't really look too great in his debut, only pitching that one inning. Irvin hasn't looked amazing either, but I'll still take my chances with Baltimore at home as we fail to see Oakland um, really get any back-to-back -back wins. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to roll with uh, the Baltimore at home. Next matchup, we got the Boston Red Sox versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Tampa Bay opening up as home favorites at minus 220. Boston plus 190 with the over under at 8. Boston coming into this matchup 5 and 7. The Rays 12 and 0. Pitching for the Red Sox is Corey Kluber with an ERA of 6.48. Pitching for the Rays is Jeffrey Springs with an ERA of 0. Uh, Kluber, his last start, he pitched 5 innings. Gave up one run, had two strikeouts. Springs uh, hasn't allowed a run in both of his starts this season. I mean, he's been great. Boston on a three-game losing streak. Tampa still undefeated. I mean, 12-0. It's unbelievable what they're doing. The, the streak they've went on, it's been great to watch. Boston 0-10 against Tampa. And yeah, we're still riding out Tampa, especially with Springs on the mound. Give me the Rays at home. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Cincinnati Reds. Reds opening up as home favorites at minus 125. The Phillies plus 105 with the over-under at 8.5. Phillies coming into this matchup 4-8. The Reds 4-7. Pitching for the Phillies is Bailey Falter with an ERA of 2.61. Pitching for the Reds is Nick Lodolo with an ERA of 1.50. Alter, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had two strikeouts. Lodolo, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs, and had 12 strikeouts. Billy, on a two-game losing streak right now, coming off a couple of Miami losses. Cincinnati, they're on a three-game losing streak. Uh, these teams just played each other in that series before. Uh, Philly going two and one in that series. Uh, Philly is 6-1 against Cincinnati here, and um, pretty even matchup here, and uh, I think I'll take a shot with the Phillies, plus 1.5 on the road. Next matchup, we got the Minnesota Twins versus the New York Yankees. Yankees opening up as home favorites at minus 150. Minnesota plus 125 with the over-under at 8.5. Wins coming into this matchup, 8-4. The Yankees also 8-4. Pitching for the Twins is Joe Ryan with an ERA of 3.75. Pitching for the Yankees is Johnny Brito with an ERA of 0 0.90. Ryan, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had 10 strikeouts. Brito, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had two strikeouts. Minnesota coming off back-to-back -back White Sox wins. Yankees coming off back-to-back -back Cleveland wins here. Tough matchup here. Um, both teams playing well, but Minnesota 1-10 and on the road against the Yankees. 3-16 and a straight up against the Yankees. They just have really struggled against the Yankees here, and uh, I think I'm going to roll with the Yankees at home in this one. 
Next matchup, we get the Detroit Tigers versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto opening up as home favorites at minus 220. Detroit plus 200 with the over-under at 9. Tigers coming into this matchup 2-9. Toronto 8-4. and four. Um, Pitching for the Tigers is Spencer Turnbull with an ERA of 13.50. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Chris Bassett with an ERA of 10.61. Turnbull, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up five runs, had one strikeout. Bassett, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Uh, Detroit, they're on a six-game losing streak. Back-to-back -back losses against Toronto. Toronto playing well. They are 7-1 and one in their last eight. I mean, they're getting it done right now. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to roll with the Blue Jays at home. Next matchup, we got the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals opening up as home favorites at minus 250. Pitt plus 210 with the over-under at 8.5. Pirates coming into this matchup 7-5. The Cardinals 5-7. Pitching for the Pirates is Vince Velasquez with an ERA of, of 9.82. Pitching for the Cardinals is Jordan Montgomery with an ERA of 2.25. Velasquez, his last start, he pitched two innings, gave up five runs, had one strikeout. Montgomery, his last start, did not allow a run. Um, but had it coming off a great game there. Pitt losing 7-0 to zero to Houston yesterday. St. Louis on a two-game winning streak against Colorado. And uh, yeah, not in love with Velasquez on the mound here. And uh, Montgomery coming off a great, uh, great, uh, great last start on the mound here. And uh, I think I'm going to roll with the Cardinals at home. In the last matchup, we got the Milwaukee Brewers versus the San Diego Padres. Padres opening up as home favorites at minus 140. Milwaukee plus 120 with the over-under at 8.5. Brewers coming into this matchup 8-4. The Padres 7-6. Pitching for the Brewers. Or looks like I can't find out who's pitching for the Brewers. But... Um, I do see that pitching for the Padres is Nick Martinez with an ERA of 6.17. So be sure to find out who is actually pitching for the Brewers. Um, a couple of their brewer, a couple of their pitchers are on IR or on the IL too. Uh, Hauser and Woodruff. Uh, Brewers coming off an Arizona loss. Padres coming off a Mets loss. Pretty even matchup here. Um, I don't know. Definitely a, probably the tougher one on the slate. And uh, I can see this one going either way. Not in love with Martinez on the mound. We'll see who ends up pitching for the Brewers. I mean, it'll definitely be a bullpen game probably early on. And uh, I think I'll take a shot with the Brewers plus one and a half on the road. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Thursday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Friday. Have a good one.